Peace. This MJ will wake up news. I'll be offering my commentary pertaining to the subject or title that you clicked on in a few moments. Peace. Fantasia teaching, ain't she? She say ain't nobody perfect. And you know, that that's that's so so real. That's so so real, brothers and sisters. You know, some of the expectations we put on people. And then you come to find out sometimes that what you expected of a person sometimes people don't fulfill that in life you know and it's how you handle the result of what they manifest that truly shows who you are it's your reaction to it right disappointment in life is a guarantee right it, it's a fact if you think that we gonna get away from disappointment in this life then you live in a fantasy you're not thriving in reality and that's what happens a lot of times in these relationships people get into relationships they have this fake idea of what marriage is and before you know it people get in a marriage and their marriage is uprooted in a few months sometimes a year or two before you really even got to know the person oh I didn't like the way he did this I didn't like the way she did this. Okay, well, you go find that perfect person then. Because I can guarantee you that where one person is lacking in one area, another person is lacking in another area. And it's really about finding commonalities. If a person fits the, uh, fits the description of 70% of what you desire in a mate, then that other 30% even though they don't fulfill that or they have not yet met your expectations in that area that is that 30 percent that they are on a journey with that you can help them with that you can get guidance and counseling with to help that person we give up on each other in life way too easy in our institutions in our organizations in our marriages Whenever disappointment sets in. What if the creator, what if our God gave up on us? He doesn't ask anything of us but to submit, be obedient to the laws which he created the universe on. Freedom, justice, and equality, righteousness, and truth. 
That's all he ask of us. But if we make a mistake, hell, he don't beat us over the head with it. If that was the case, no soul would exist on the earth. If the God were to charge male and female for our sins. And he he's such a merciful God that he even allows the sun, his son, to shine on the wicked. Right? So that's why Jesus said, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, brothers and sisters. So, you know, love really is duty. As we have heard Minister Farrakhan say, and love is really service. So if you see your spouse or your partner or your friend lacking in a certain area, then help them, right? Help them. Some people need help in certain areas of their life. And if you're not able to help them, well, try to get that person some counseling, some auditing. Get that person the next level of service that they need. Right? It might not be that. It might be you know, your, your husband, he's going through something on the job, right? He's, you know, boss is giving him a hard time. A lot of stress, right? And he eventually uh, get laid off or something of that nature, hypothetically speaking. Well, if you know you got a good man that's always worked hard and he's going out there, you know, trying to provide and he's just not the corporate America type. Well, maybe you need to see uh, something in him, especially like if you're a stay at home mom, which is not too uh, frequent in today's society with, you know, uh, the cost of living and most women honestly don't want to stay home most a lot of women you know like to make their own money but if you are a stay at home mother then you can you have to study your husband to see what are his gifts skills and talents or even better have your own business where you can make money on the side as a stay at home mom to help give some leverage because it's a lot of stress dealing in finances uh, in today's society and a lot of sometimes it's us living outside of our means sometimes it's just the cost of living a lot of times it's us living outside our means <laughs> cause we like to take on debt and credit cards and all this extra stuff loans that we do and it, it puts the family in extra stress because we try to look good to please people we don't even know who really don't even care <laughs> while the people closest to us suffer. So love is truly duty. And if you see your partner or your spouse need or uh, whoever in your organization or institution or your family needs help, well, that's what a good team does. They work together. Where there's a weak area in the offense or the defense, then you come together and you strategize and you implement a plan to overcome that situation, that circumstance, that scenario, that hurdle, so that your marriage may, or your organization or institution or your family may continue to thrive. That's what life is about, solving problems. The people who get paid the most in society solve problems, right? You ever notice that? So the more, the more, well, I ain't gonna say the most, but some of the most well-paid people are those who solve problems. So let us all become problem in scenario solvers always seeking to learn more and we can never think that we know it all you know if your spouse your 
business partner, your family member, someone in your organization or institution gives a suggestion, even if you don't agree with it, you should still entertain it, you should still be attentive, and you should still listen to it. That's what, that's showing respect. You know, if you're in a position of authority, ultimately where you render the final decision, the wisest people, <laughs> it, it, it's a quote, uh, I forgot exactly how it goes, but it says, you know, the wisest person really knows nothing. And Jesus said, he who has an ear, let him hear. And I heard the minister Farrakhan say, even your critic can be your best friend. Right? And you wouldn't think that your critic could be your best friend. But your critic is looking at something from an adverse angle. And possibly, if you're wise enough, there's something, there's some nutrients in their manifest of opposite spectrums of thought. But a lot of times we don't even entertain delving into what other people are saying about us. And we should. That's how we continue to all go grow, brothers and sisters. And like Fantasia says, she don't even want to be with nobody who ain't been through nothing. And that's real, because a person who ain't really been through nothing has a hard time relating to other people. They expect for things to always be perfect. And that's just not life. Life is full of ups and downs. And it's how you overcome those ups and downs, those twists and turns that truly show us who we are. This your brother MJ. I'm signing off.